Well, listen to how Paul goes on then. God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted. He'll not let you be tested beyond what you can bear. But when you are, so in other words, it's going to happen. When you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. Now remember that this whole prayer that we're praying here is a prayer, how did we start at the beginning? Our Father. Our Father knows exactly how to, to test us, to reveal the purity that needs to be seen. Think about when you're in school. You might not have wanted to take a test. You probably wanted to be promoted to the next class, mm -hmm. but you don't want to take the test. But one of the most loving things that your teacher can do for you is to prepare you for the test, to give you the test, and then to give you the results of that test. For a teacher to say, you're on your own, I'm not going to prepare you, would be very unloving, very uncaring. For a teacher to say, I'm not going to give you the test, you don't need it, you can just go on, would also be very unloving. Because you don't know whether you know what you need for the next level. Or for the teacher to give you the test, but not tell you how you did on the test, would also be very unloving. See, we need to know that we're ready for the next level. So Jesus is wanting, the Holy Spirit is saying, I'm going to take you. Now's the time. I'm going to take you to the next level, and you're ready for it. That's why we go through these tests. Because God doesn't want us to just plateau. Because when we plateau, it's really easy to start just going down. It's really easy to just park it there. But he wants us to, let me... Let me take you, I want you to be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect. I want more value to come out of your life. I want this to be seen.